Hey everybody, um, welcome back to another video presentation. And after it's been a while since I have done a video, just been a little bit busy with the solar side of the business. But um, in between, I've, we've had a nice hot summer, and so I thought get some aircon uh, installed, just like a lot of people are doing to uh, to cope with this heat. And so, um, well, once you've got it done and being a smart home installer, I had to get the AC controls. So I have the AC controls installed as well. So for this one, um, we use the Remotech ZXT 600. They are an infrared controller. So we send a signal via the Z-Wave and and you receive that via, and then, sorry, we send the signal via the Z-Wave and that then converts it to infrared and sends it to the um, air conditioning system. So this is what the device looks like. So this can be powered via, um, what do you call it? Powered via batteries. So you can put two batteries, uh, two or three batteries in there or you can fire, power it via USB, and to be honest with you, I tend to fire it via USB, and then it, allow it to point in the direction of my um, aircon unit. It does have a lot of devices that is compatible with. There's literally um, thousands of manufacturers, and the codes are all there, which you can download off the internet for the specific device that you need and basically all it does is it can send a signal to turn it on turn it off change the temperature um fan speed etc so i tend to the way i've done mine is um so here user manuals and the code lists are all here um so what i tend to do is leave use my standard controller and set my temp to 18 degrees so nice and cold air and that's it i then let the home automation send the signal to turn it on and set the fan speed and that's what i let it do once the and then once it cools down the signal is sent back to turn the system off so let's have a look how it looks on the home center so first things first i've created this uh little switch called heat mode and cool mode all that does is it switches between what i want i haven't automated this because um i'm not i haven't decided how i'm going to automate it really to be honest whether i want to automate it using the outside temperature or internal temperature so i haven't really kind of because sometimes it's it's one of those weird ones where uh after after a nice hot few days that the house is still quite warm compared to outside so i don't really want the heating to switch on but at the same time if it's been cold for a long time um and the house then is still quite cool so um i've decided to leave this manual at the moment so all i do is using my mobile i can then turn it on or off and then it just switches between heating mode and cooling mode. So now let's have a look. I'm gonna put it back into heating mode and then I'm gonna go onto the climate panel. Just gotta log in again. So settings and climate. So here are all my zones, okay, that I've got. So all the bedrooms as independent zones and I've got the downstairs as one big zone. So this is my schedule for heating, okay? And this is what I've set for heating mode, which is what the current mode is. Then all I'm going to do is if I click on devices, sorry, click on home, click the switch. Now I'm in cool mode, click on settings, click on the climate, and it's now turned everything into cool mode. So this is my temperature settings for cooling so um and i've set this 
I hate it being very, very cold either. So I found that these temperatures are quite comfortable for myself. Everybody's different and we'll have it at different ratings and different settings. But this is what I've personally set mine on. So 24 seven, um, different temperatures, different timings will change uh, accordingly. So the way these works is these are all virtual. Um, so the whole of my heating stroke cooling system is taken care of by the climate panel. Now, if I go back onto home, and let's just put this back into heat mode, and then let's go down to here. So we've got, these are the thermostats. So let me show you. Um, so let's just click on this one. So these are my virtual thermostats. So these are quick apps that are do, do both heating and cooling. And they're both, then they're configured into the climate panel. So then the climate panel can dictate uh, what what's my heating temperature, what's my cooling temperature. And uh, of course, that little QA I've written for heat mode, cooling mode will automatically switch between the two. This is a way to override the uh, thermostats as well. So if I wanted to say have a bit extra heat for say three hours, I can I can just hit set. Conversely, um, if this was in cooling mode, I could just adjust the cool mode temperature for a certain amount of time and hit set and it would override it just like um, it would do for your normal climate panel. So how does it all work? Well, this all works on, on basically utilization of scenes. So I have set up a lot of scenes for my cooling. So, um, sorry, if I do this instead, so filters, sh hidden, and climber. So, and just do that there, and all. So, oh, okay. Let me just change this. I, I keep forgetting to do that. So, uh, all scenes and heat. So these are the scenes for the heat. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And, oh, sorry, you see, see, this is what, it happens to the best of us that we can't sometimes navigate things properly. So, um, you know, uh, sorry. So these are the scenes that I've written for the heating side of things. So literally all these do is they check the, each zone has a scene attached to it. And all they do is it measures the temperature using my motion sensors, set, checks it against the climate panel, see what temperature I want in the climate panel. And if the temperature is below what the climate panel says, it then opens up the TRVs and turns on the boiler. And therefore I have heat in that particular room. Any other room, will not get heat because the valves are going to be closed. Um, as long as one room requires heat, the boiler will run. And therefore, when room number two has the same issue, it's cold, valve will open, sends a, and then it says, sends a signal. And then room one, it comes up to temperature. It then sends a signal. But because of the other room, room two still needs a bit of heat, it doesn't actually switch the boiler off. All it does is it closes the valves for room one, the valves remain open on room two and the boiler keeps running. And that way I can maximize the benefit of my heating and get the rooms up to temperature very quickly by uh, depending on the timings and staggering the heat. Now, at the same time, let's do, so if I'm in cool mode, uh, I can't even remember how I've done them. Ah, here it is. For cool mode, now, um, now my AC system is, I have um, a venting system. So, which means that I have one control unit controlling in three rooms and the 
uh, another control unit controlling the other three bedrooms. So effectively, rather than buying three separate units for, you know, six units for six bedrooms, very expensive. So I've gone for this way. So what that means is then, again, I take the temperature. Instead, I take an average temperature of all three rooms. And once I've got the average temperature, compared that to the climate panel to make, and if it's warmer, remember this is the opposite. So if it's warmer, then, then it act, it sends a, a signal to via the remote tech to the aircon unit and turns it on high speed turn on and then that starts distributing cold air into either the master side or the kids side depending on which one it is and that's how that works and again once the temperature has been reached it then turns sends a signal for off and that's it so doesn't matter what the weather is what the temperatures are whichever way i want it whether i want to heat or cool i can i can control it and all i have to do is decide on the day whether to have heating on or cooling on and everything is then preset and automated now unfortunately this is something that can't be written as an all-in-one quick app unfortunately because um Everybody has various numbers of th uh, different devices for temperature monitoring. They have different um, heating systems, cooling systems. Therefore, something like this would have to actually be manually written, I'm afraid, on each and every person. So if you want this doing for your system, uh, you will have to get in touch with me and, and I can quote you to um, set it all up for you. Um, and I have been now using this for the last three, four weeks. Um, hence why I've delayed doing the video until, until, um, I know it's properly working and good news is works perfectly. I can't complain. And the only thing you've got to be careful for, the only thing is making sure that the, the remote tech device has a direct line of sight to your aircon unit uh, because it's an infrared device and infrared control so you just got to make sure that it is direct line of sight and that's it once that is sorted then it works wonders it works perfectly well okay um and that's it for this particular video uh short and sweet um if you have any questions as per normal leave it in the comments below send me a message email whatsapp or whatever your choice and um and that's it really so um thank you very much for watching and remember um if you like this video hit the like and subscribe to get more notifications and uh, hit the bell button and you'll be notified as soon as my videos uh, are online so um i will hopefully see you guys soon thank you very much for watching and uh, bye for now